sounds. The high quality and expressive PA700 sounds are the basis of the styles and the keyboard sets. These sounds are also used when creating and playing MIDI sequences. In this chapter, we'll look at the sounds in depth. When the instrument is first turned on, the factory default style is brush ballad, and the keyboard set is already set up with a stereo piano sound across the whole range of the keyboard. To select a different sound, touch the upper one area in the upper right corner of the screen, containing the name of the current sound, Concert Grand. Touch any sound on the screen to select the sound you want. Eight sounds are displayed at a time, and you can access more sounds by touching the tabs along the bottom. The sounds are grouped in categories, which can be selected using the tabs on the left and right. Additional sounds can be accessed with the tabs along the top. Legacy accesses sounds from previous Korg PA series instruments. GMXG accesses the general MIDI and XG sounds. By the way, in some cases there may be more than four tabs of sounds in a particular category. If so, these arrow buttons navigate back and forth between the available tabs. Go to the Factory tab. Select Brass category and touch Big Band Brass 1. With many sounds in the PA700, vibrato is added by pushing the joystick forward. With some sounds, the joystick minus Y, pulling the joystick back, will also affect the sound. Go to the Sax category, Tenor Sax DN1. Define Nuance Control is the ability to control several nuances of the instruments. In this example, if you press switch 1, then play a note, you get a glissando up to the note. Pressing switch 2, then playing a note, glissandos down to the note. Pressing switch 1 while playing a note adds a fall off the note when the note is released. Switch 1 and 2, the joystick, even how you play the keyboard, for example legato, can add nuances that bring life and realism to the sound. Sounds with this type of control always have DNC, DN1, or DN2 in the name. Go to the organ category. There are several sampled organ sounds in a variety of different drawbar settings. But the PA700 also features a special drawbar sound that emulates the classic drawbar organ allowing you to set your own drawbar settings. Select Drawbars, and use the sliders on the screen to adjust the drawbars. You can save your edited digital drawbar sound into one of the keyboard set library locations. We'll look at that in a moment. There's a rotary speaker effect on this organ, as well as many of the other organ sounds. Pushing the joystick forward changes the speed. No need to hold it. In fact, the PA700 has a huge library of effects like chorus, reverb, etc. that can be used to enhance the keyboard set, accompaniment, and MIDI tracks. Effects will be explained in detail in the effects chapter. Press Exit. In a keyboard set, you can have up to three sounds in the upper range and one sound in the lower. Let's combine some sounds. For the upper one sound, from the Piano category, select Concert Grand. Press Exit. Notice that the screen shows that upper two and three are muted. Touch here to unmute upper two. Unmute upper three. Now press the split button and the three upper sounds are above the split point and you now have access to the lower sound. The master split point is set in global mode, but you can temporarily override this. Hold down the split button until this appears on the screen. Now play the note where you want the new split to be. This new split point will be kept until a new keyboard set is selected. The global split point is the same for all keyboard sets, but, if necessary, a specific split point can be saved with each individual keyboard set. When the style is stopped, you'll notice that even if lower is muted, the lower sound will still play as well as the bass sound from the style. 
This is called bass and lower backing, and is very useful for playing introductions to songs. However, if you wish, you can disable this function in Global. We'll look at this in the Global Media chapter. Let's make some more changes. You can quickly bring all the upper sounds down one octave by pressing the upper octave minus button. Let's adjust the level of upper 3. Touch the Volume tab to display and adjust the volumes. Now open the Page menu. We can save the keyboard set we've edited to one of the keyboard set library locations. For now, touch anywhere outside of the Page menu to make it disappear, and let's take a closer look at keyboard sets. It's important to understand the difference between a sound and a keyboard set. Go to Sound Mode. Touch the sound name, and you'll see all the different sounds grouped together in instrument families. These sounds are used individually or combined together for your keyboard sets like we did earlier. We used a sound from the Piano category for Upper 1, Upper 2 used a sound from the Strings category, etc. Go back to Style Play Mode. Sometimes your keyboard set might be a layer of three sounds on the top, plus a sound in the lower or two sounds in the upper, no sound in the lower, or simply one sound across the whole keyboard. However you set it up, what sounds you are using, the levels, the split point, panning, effects, etc., it can be saved and recalled from the keyboard set library using these nine keyboard set library buttons here on the right. These buttons open up a selection of keyboard sets that you can choose from the display. These tabs take you to more groups of eight. You can also repeatedly press the Keyboard Set Library buttons to advance through the tabs. We are on the Factory tab, so these are the keyboard sets supplied by Korg. The User tab is where you can access your keyboard sets. This grayed out tab, Direct, allows you to directly access more keyboard sets saved on your USB media without having to load them into internal memory. Press Exit. Your edited keyboard sets can be saved by pulling down the menu and selecting Write Keyboard Set to Library. Another quick way is to hold down any one of the keyboard set buttons until the right screen appears, choosing the location, naming it if you want, and pressing OK. For now, press Exit. You'll notice it says Set List here because these buttons can be used for a different function when using Set List. This will be covered in the Songbook chapter. Press the My Setting button. This button accesses your most favorite keyboard set and is the first one selected when you turn on the PA700. It's currently a stereo piano across the whole keyboard, but you can set it to be whatever you like to use the most. That might be a layer of electric piano and strings, a split of bass and organ, etc. It's a fast and easy way to jump to your favorite setting while performing. To save your favorite keyboard set or any edits you've done to My Setting, hold down the My Setting button until the right screen appears. Touching OK on the screen would continue the right process and write over the current setting. For now, touch Cancel to keep the original My Setting unchanged. By the way, these three switches can be assigned to different functions. Once you find the best use of the switches for your musical needs, save that along with your favorite keyboard set into My Setting. When you turn on the PA700, My Setting is the first keyboard set loaded in, so your switch assignment will always be as you want them. That switch assignment will be kept as you change to another keyboard set because assignable switch lock is on by default. But this can be unlocked in Global, so you can have different switch functions for each keyboard set if you wish. In the next chapter, we'll look at styles, where you'll see that sounds are also used by the different tracks of the style accompaniment. For example, the bass track might use a synth bass sound, another track might use an electric piano sound, etc. So basically, the keyboard sets and style tracks are all accessing the same library of sounds inside your PA700, and there are hundreds of completely editable sounds to choose from, plus the ability to load in your own samples, so the possibilities are endless.